Hello, uh, my name is Sunghua Wan. I'm from Walmart Labs. And uh, today's my topic is solid distributed indexing in Walmart Labs. I'm going to share some experience uh, 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 when we deal with uh, distributed indexing using solid. And first, I want to uh, introduce a little bit about my, my background. I'm uh, actually a big data guy. I work in search big data team inside a Polaris search team in Walmart Labs. In our, uh, I believe uh, our goal in search team is uh, let the customer to find what they want and uh, maybe they, what they might want as well. And I uh, work, used to work in uh, Axiom and uh, also UT Southwestern Medical Center. And uh, uh, from our perspective, uh, actually the big data perspective, uh, perspective uh, we want to help uh, solar indexing uh, to make it more scalable uh, in our organization. And uh, as, as a big data uh, engineer, and uh, uh, the solar internals are not covered in this talk today. Uh, the, here is the problem definition. And we actually have like a, a couple of uh, gzipped XML files, which is document, and we'd like to uh, convert them into binary index. And we used to have like a dedicated server, and at that time we don't use solar cloud. And we have in-house customized solar somehow solar cloud. <laughs> and uh, for uh, developers, uh, we don't have the luxury to have the dedicated servers. We have to run indexing in the server node, uh, in the dev node. And it's uh, used to take at least four hours for us and they slowed out, uh, slow down our development. In that case, we are trying to uh, find an uh, like efficient way and a scalable way to do this uh, in indexing in a distributed fashion. And uh, there's a saying in software engineering uh, principle said, okay, don't reinvent the wheels. Now, a bit of Google uh, search returns three uh, wheel, existing wheels. The first one uh, is index files via Solar and uh, Java MapReduce. And uh, the other two are uh, Lucene index out form format and uh, MapReduce indexer tool. After a bit of evaluation, uh, we found that uh, MapReduce indexer tool, uh, which is by Mark Miller, is uh, closest to our use case. So is Mark Miller here today? Okay. Basically, I want to thank him. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, the, the, basically the drawback of the first two uh, tools uh, are like this. The first one, which is, uh, I consider is not pure uh, MapReduce. Basically it's used MapReduce to send the data to the solar cloud and let the cloud as a bottleneck to index all the documents. And then the second one, the, the, output, the index, in, uh, Lucene index out format, the output index of this class basically is not uh, totally compatible to solar index. And let's start from uh, this uh, MapReduce indexer tool. A bit of close look of this tool, we found that basically there are three core parts. The first one is Morphlin uh, Mapper, and they use uh, Morphlin, which is a product of Cloudera, to uh, convert document to solar input, uh, doc, uh, solar input document for, format. And then the solar record writer, which creates uh, embedded solar instance to index document. And I think that's the core part and the key part of this uh, tool. And eventually, uh, the document can go to a tree merge uh, record writer, which merge, uh, merge multiple binary index into one. And uh, we have our own use case, and uh, this, uh, this tool cannot be used directly out of box. And our challenge is that we are not using Solar Cloud, and therefore we don't use Solar Zookeeper. And uh, at that time, our Solar version was still 4.0. And uh, I think the most challenging part is we don't have the matching environment in our uh, dev environment or in, also in production, since we ha only have uh, Hadoop 1, and uh, we use MapR file system. And our input format is XML. It, uh, and uh, we want a, easy, uh, a tool that's easy to maintain and debug, and we can easily find what's going on and what's basically what, what, what is the bug when something happens. And, uh, it's, and uh, a bit of Google search 
I also realized that, okay, it's very difficult to find a related document. However, uh, thanks to this uh, example by Mark Miller, this is a roundable example with source code that I believe is the best so that we can debug easily and uh, extract what we need to customize, to uh, build a customized indexing tool. And our tool uh, basically uh, builds down, uh, breaking down into two fundamental utilities. One is an uh, index generator. This one basically especially, uh, especially used to uh, generate index and uh, the other one is index merger. And uh, this uh, reused the uh, original uh, tree merge output format that contributed by uh, Mark Miller and his colleagues. And more complicated uh, logic can be built on top uh, these two simple map only jobs. The original job uh, that uh, tool, uh, map reduce indexer tool, uh, was a bit complicated for us. Uh, the first reason is the input format you have to use Morphin. And uh, it, we want to uh, basically to have more control. As a developer, I have, want to have more control of my tool. And uh, I want to it lean and fast. And in that case, I strip out some like unnecessary component for us. The, for example, we don't use reduce. Maybe for use case, for your use case, you may need that to do more processing and data ma manipulation, say deduplication. And uh, uh, our ex in our experiment, we observed that the index generation is basically CPU bound, and it can be easily scaled and uh, it's uh, be parallel. And uh, the map only job wins around like 12 to 15% uh, over the map reduce job. Uh, and uh, uh, according to our experiment, we have only 5 gig uh, decompo uh, decompressed XML document. And it took our, like around 10 minutes to do the pure uh, indexing. In that case, we will have uh, around seven, uh, actually 21 segment or shard of binary, uh, binary index. And the data we need to uh, combine them into the number of shards that is de desired. And uh, I think the most challenging part for us is index merging. And we found that it's IO bound. And uh, the so-called IO basically is disk and uh, network, right? Uh, but network was our pain. And I will tell you why <laughs> later in later slides. And a bit uh, a close look of this uh, index merging, we realized that basically this uh, decomposed to logical merge and optimize. Logical merge, is, uh, we found that it's basically fire movement, move all the shards into one and rename them. And the, the optimize reduce the number of index segments into uh, the number of you specified. And that's something you can tune. And uh, we did, first we did some like uh, NV merge. Basically it's merging N number of uh, shards into one. And uh, for this uh, like a graph, it's nothing suspicious and it seems normal. However, when we take a look at the merging time, we found that it seems not linear anymore. It goes sharp, sharp suddenly at like a six four we merge. The six uh, six four we merge is basically merging sixty four number of shards uh, or about equal the uh, equal size into one. And uh, the reason we found that it's basically there are too many shards, and uh, we are in a shared environment, shared cluster. Therefore, uh, there are some other jobs running simultaneously, and uh, this may be due to the resource, resource contention. And for the optimize, when the, uh, the, the n shards are merged into one, eventually we want one shards for optimized search result, uh, searching time. We found that the optimize compared to the logical uh, merge time, the optimization time is uh, really bad. It's around 5x or 8x. And uh, why we realize the network is a challenge? Because when we uh, talk to our like uh, class owner team, they told us they only have one gig back, gig, uh, gig, 
one gig Ethernet work. So even our home network can switch, can easily get like 10 gig, right? And then we are trying to find ways to optimize this. And the, the first coming to mind is like the, the tree merge or hierarchical merge structure. And uh, it works previously in, other, in my other project. I think this should work as well. However, the turns the experimental result is different. The hierarchical merge is worse. And uh, a bit of uh, consideration, I <laughs> realized, okay, for the hierarchical merge, we have, we have to read four small shards and uh, two large shards after we merge them, basically merge five and six, okay? And uh, compared to the plan MV merge, it's only read four files and merge them together. And there are extra uh, disk I.O. in the hierarchical merge. And uh, I have to point out that this uh, experiment result is running my MacBook Pro because I want to uh, exclude the network latency. And uh, for my uh, environment, I have like a thread. And our lessons learned in this uh, experiment and uh, observation is that the index generation is pretty easily scalable and uh, merging is not. And uh, MV merging of all shards is better and faster than the hierarchical merge. And uh, the data locality is pretty critical. And our solution, we have to find a way to solve this problem. <laughs> the first way, <laughs> Uh, it reminds me is uh, like the 48 gigabit infinite band when I worked in UD Southwestern. It's pretty amazing. And we some, I talked to the owner and however, they still need time to accom accommodate this. In that case, I took the other way. We have to uh, build some small dedicated uh, indexing that use Hadoop. In that case, we can strip out the network latency since we don't share this resource with other people and we use like a minimum resource number of nodes. And we uh, use basically, uh, basically this is a, a dedicated uh, bare metal uh, Hadoop cluster, uh, only one node. But with Hadoop, you can easily get like more nodes. And uh, the, the last 32 cores, since we don't have much uh, number of splits. And uh, a bit of like performance of, about this I.O., uh, this is a very simple experiment. I don't, basically, some, for dedicated server, I use DD. For Hadoop, I just use HDFS copy. And uh, 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 my tips are, okay, there are some like moving parts, uh, turn, turn, tunable parameters in the MapReduce uh, indexer tool that you may uh, want to have a look. The first one is split size, and uh, this is related to MapReduce. And the other one is batch size, and uh, RAM buffer, and the uh, uh, max number of segments, which can uh, affect your search performance. And uh, there are something that missing in our part, but uh, can be improved in other ways. The first is reduce function, I've mentioned that. The other is, uh, right now, like uh, Spark is prevailing, and people are trying to add, uh, However, I think uh, for now, the bottleneck is the embedded solar instance. The indexing is not fast enough as like, they don't actually, since we are a map only job, we don't have like a, a, to a write output into the disk and then read them again. So I believe the performance is, uh, will not make much difference. Uh, I think that's the end. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. And we are hiring. <laughs> yes, we are a technology company. Uh, we, we are a, like a hardcore technology uh, organization inside this uh, big retailing giant. <laughs> Thank you. If you have any questions, you can find me in the back. <laughs> <laughs>